my ancestors happen to be here where you are tonight. You are in the village site of Huchin. You're not in Oakland, you're not in California. This is the place that has existed since time immemorial. And my ancestors have always been here. So it's um, wonderful that when you come and you begin to talk about these great issues that you're gonna talk about over this weekend, that you remember the space and place that you're at, that you remember where you come from. So who all here is from the state of Cal what is now known as California? Hmm. Who is from what is now known as Oakland? Who knew that this was Hu Chin before you got here? Couple people, good. <clears throat> One of the great things that's happened over the years is that Ohlone people have had a renaissance of coming out and talking in public about a lot of the different issues. I've been working on sacred site issues and protection for the last 20 years of my life. And in the Bay Area, there are over 425 cemeteries or shell mounds that were the burial sites of my ancestors. And we walk those shell mounds from Vallejo down to San Jose and up to San Francisco. And it's 300 miles, so we could actually walk that. So if, you know, if the bridge gets in your way, you guys can actually get over there by walking tomorrow. <clears throat> but I wanted to make sure that you guys knew that when you came and talked about stuff, that it's important to know where you come from. So I want to challenge you guys, wherever you come from in this world, wherever you stay at right now that you call home, that you find out the name and the people that were originally there. And I want to challenge you that the work that you go back home and do, that you are inclusive of those folks, not just in welcoming them, welcoming you to their land, but to bring them together as equals in the work that you do to make this world a better place. That's truly how we can begin to challenge ourselves around what you guys are doing. When you begin to talk about white privilege in uh, this symposium, one of the things that you have to do is to remember the First Nations peoples that are here, right? Sometimes we think that we're California, we're native Californians, right? That we've always been here. Our ancestors came because of the gold rush. Our ancestors came because we were brought here because of our, our slavery. We were actually enslaved in California. My ancestors were enslaved at Mission Dolores in San Francisco and Mission San Jose in Fremont. And so we never talk about that in the history books. We never learn about that part of history. And one of the things that happened this year was that there was a um, sainthood that was created for Sarah, right? And one of the things that we did as California Indians is that we fought against that. But what we chose to do was we chose to tell the truth always to history. We made a pledge on that same day, on September 23rd, when the Catholic Church made Sarah a saint to continue to tell the truth to history, to young people and to old people, to people that live here, so that our history can continue to be told. And then it is your responsibility when you hear the history is to tell other people. So we look at folks that are not native to be our allies and our accomplices in the work that we do, saving and protecting sacred sites, telling the truth to history, ensuring that native people are brought as equals to the table. So that's what I challenge you to do. And the work that you are creating is to actually bring the native folks to the table as our equals, right? So that's something that we all have to do. And how do we do that? I was working with a young uh, group of activists that were Asian from all over the country this um, past summer. And they said, well, how do we do that? We invite them to our events and they won't come, right? I said, well, how about you go to their events and you show up? And then you just keep showing up. Because eventually, they'll start coming to your events. And so that's how you begin to do the work, is that you actually have to show up. We talk about showing up in so many different ways when we're doing activism work, right? And that's the pro. We have to actually have those conversations. And those conversations are difficult. And we have to create trust. And so for me, coming here with my nephew and opening up this space, which is our home, we're welcoming you into our home. But when we welcome you into our home, that means you have a responsibility as a guest. So when you come into our home, or you go to anybody's home as a guest, you don't trash their home. You don't speak, speak ill of your host. 
you try to make it a better place to be. And so that's another challenge I'm going to give you, is that you do that when you're here and wherever you call home, that you make sure you act as a guest and accordingly.